Here, Baba, sat math question. Okay, let's go to the question. So, A sells raspberries for $5.50 per pint and blackberries for $3 per pint. So, B sells raspberries for $6.50 per pint and blackberries for $8 per pint. A sudden purchase of raspberries and blackberries would cost $37 at store A or $66 at store B. How many pins of blackberries are in this purchase? Okay, we can assume R as number of pins of uh, raspberries and B as number of pins of blackberries. Okay, the question says uh, the store A sells raspberries for $5.50 per pin. That is, the cost of one pin of raspberry in store A is $5.50. Then what is the cost of R raspberries uh, in store A? We have to multiply the cost of one pin of raspberry by the number of pins of raspberries R. Then we'll be getting 5.5 times R. So this is the cost of R pins of raspberries in story A. Okay, and also the question says the cost of one pin of blackberry in story A is $3. Then what is the cost of B pins of blackberries? So we have to multiply that 3, the cost of one pin of blackberry by the number of uh, pins of blackberries B. So I'm getting 3B. So this is the cost of uh, B pins of blackberries in story A. So this is the cost of R pins of uh, raspberries in story A and this is the cost of B pins of blackberries in story A. When I add them, I'm getting the total cost of purchase in story A. So that is given in the question that is $37. So this expression equals to 37. I name this is equation number one. The same thing we have to do for store B. So uh, the question says the cost of one pint of raspberry in store B is $6.50. Then what is the cost of R pints of raspberries in store B? So that is 6.5 times R. And the cost of one pint of blackberry in store B is $8. Then the cost of B pints of blackberries in store B is uh, 8B. And this expression represents the total co uh, cost of purchase in store B that is given in the question $66. So it is equal to 66. I name this is equation number two. Okay, here we have a system of uh, two linear equations and in this system I have to solve for B. So that is the number of uh, pins of blackberries because according to the question we have to find the number of pins of blackberries in this purchase. So we have to solve for B in this equation. Okay, to solve for B usually what we will do is we will be trying to eliminate the variable R. But here the coefficient of R uh, in the first equation is 5.5, the coefficient of R in the second equation is 6.5. Both of them are decimals, so it will be little consuming to get the least common multiple. So whether we can eliminate B uh, in this uh, system, when I eliminate B, I'll be getting the value of R. Once I get the value of R, I can plug in the value of R into either the, the, to the first equation or second equation to get the value of B. Okay, to eliminate B, I need the same coefficient for B, but here the coefficient of B is 3 and here the coefficient of B is 8. So what's the least common multiple of these 3 and 8? So this, since both of them are numbers, 3 and 8, I mean integers, both of them are integers, I can find the least common multiple easily. So the least common multiple of 3 and 8 is uh, 24. So I have to make each coefficient, I mean the coefficient of B in the first equation is 24 and the coefficient of B in the second equation are also 24. So for that, I have to multiply the first equation by 8, so that 8 times 3b will become 24b. And I have to multiply the second equation by 3, so that 3 times 8b will become 24b. But here, uh, in both the equations of b, the term b is having the same sign positive. If I want to eliminate b, so in one of the equations, the b must be having the positive sign. In another equation, the b must be having the negative sign. I multiply the first equation by 8, that is uh, 8 times the first equation. And I multiply the second equation by negative 3 so that uh, this 8b will become negative uh, 24b. Okay, first let's multiply both sides of the first equation by 8. So when I do so, 8 times 5.5 will become uh, 44r positive. 8 times this 3b will become 24b and 8 times uh, this 37 uh, will become 296. Okay, now I'm going to multiply the second equation uh, by negative 3. So negative 3 times uh, 6.5R will become negative 19.5R and uh, negative 3 times positive 8B will become negative 24B and negative uh, 3 times uh, 66 will become negative 198. Okay, now here the positive 24B, negative 24B will cancel out. So when I combine positive 44R and negative 19.5R, I'm getting 24.5R on the right side. When I combine 296 and negative 198, uh, I'm getting uh, 98. So to solve for R, I have to divide both sides by 24.5. So when I divide 24.5 uh, on both sides, this one, this one will cancel out. R is equal to, when I divide 98 by 24.5, I'm getting uh, 4. So the value of R I'm getting 4. So but our aim is to solve for B. So to solve for B, what we need to do is we have to plug in R is equal to 4 uh, into one of these two equations. Let me plug in R is equal to 4 into the first equation over here. 
then I'll be getting 5.5 .5 times uh, for this R we have to plug in 4 times 4 positive 3 B equals to 37. Okay, now when I multiply uh, this 5.5 uh, by 4, I'm getting 22 positive 3 B equals to 37. Now let me subtract 22 from both sides. When I do so, I'll be getting this uh, positive 22, negative 22 will cancel out. I'm getting 3 B is equal to, when I simplify 37, negative 22, I'm getting positive 15. So now we have the equation 3B is equal to 15. So to solve for B, I have to divide both sides by 3. So when I have 3, 3 will cancel out. I'm getting B is equal to 5. So I got uh, B is equal to 5. Actually, B refers to number of pins of blackberries. So that's what uh, we have to find according to the question. That is how many pins of blackberries are in this purchase. There are uh, 5 pins of uh, blackberries are in this purchase. The correct answer choice for this question is option C.